Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Linux Mint on VirtualBox. Linux Mint is a community-driven Linux distribution which is also based on Ubuntu. So it's also a Debian-based Linux and it comes bundled with a variety of free and open source applications. So just open your browser and then just look for download Linux Mint and then in the result open the first link which is from linuxmint.com then on this page you will find the different editions of Linux Mint which are available to be downloaded and you can see Cinnamon Edition is the most popular version of Linux Mint we are going to download Cinnamon Edition and if you scroll down we have mate edition this edition was the default desktop between 2006 to 2011 and since it is outdated now so it means it misses a lot of new features and uh, its development is also slower than cinnamon's and the third one is x face edition which is a very lightweight desktop edition it doesn't support as many features as cinnamon or mate but it will be very stable and light on your hardware anyways we are going to download the cinnamon edition so just scroll up and then click on download now to download the cinnamon edition you can either download it using torrent or you have various other mirrored links so we can click on any of these link let's let's say i'll just click on this link and the download is going to start the file size is 2.28 GB so I will just let it download in the background and also if you want to check the integrity and the authenticity of the ISO file that we are downloading then we can compute the hash of the file that we are downloading on our computer and then we can just compare that hash with the hash that is provided here by the official website of Linux Mint so I will just show you how we do that, how we check the integrity of any file. If you are not interested to learn about this, you can just skip to the next part where we are starting with the download of VirtualBox. So I'll just click on SHA-256-SUM.TXT. So this hash was generated using the SHA-256 algorithm. So I'll just let it be like this. Now once the download of ISO file is over, we can compute the hash of the downloaded file and then compare it with the hash which is provided by the official website. To do that, just open PowerShell. For that, you can just open your start menu and search for power. And Windows PowerShell is going to open up. Then from here, just type get hyphen file hash. space now here either you can type the name of the file along with its location or you can just drag and drop the file into the terminal of powershell and the location of the file will be added automatically you can see we have this paste path to file so as soon as i release the file you can see the path of the file has been automatically added there or the other method is to right click on the file and then go to properties and then copy the path. Anyways, after that we can just hit enter. It might take few minutes and then it will generate the hash using the SHA-256 algorithm. Now if you want to use any other algorithm, we have options for that also. But since the hash of the Linux Mint which is provided in the official website is of the algorithm SHA-256 so we don't have to use any other algorithm here also. Now you can see we have the hash file here but now instead of generating the hash here and then matching it by ourselves what we can do is we can match or compare the hash which we are computing now with the hash which is provided in the official website. To do that, just type the same command that we have typed before and keep it inside bracket. And then dot hash. Which means it will return only the hash from the result of this command. And then we have to compare it 
so just type hyphen eq that is used for comparison and then open double quotes now open the web browser where we have the hash of the linux mint so just copy it from here all right then we can paste it within double quotes all right then just hit enter and it says true which means the integrity and the authenticity of the file that we have downloaded is intact which means the file is not corrupt or has been tampered with it is the original file that is being available on the official website of the linux mint so anyways the next step is to download and install virtualbox so if you have already downloaded the virtual box then you can skip this part and get to the part where i am starting with the installation but if you have not installed virtual box then quickly open up your browser and search for download virtual box for windows and then click on the first link in the results that is from virtualbox.org and then just open it up all right now on the home page of the virtual box you can see there are the download links for windows host mac os and for other operating systems and also you can see that 7.0.2 is the latest version of virtual box at the time of making this video so in case you are already having virtual box on your computer but it is an older version then i will highly recommend or suggest you to download the latest version so i'll just click on windows host since my host computer runs on windows and uh, i'll just start the download it's 104 mb so it might take some time now once the download is complete we are ready to start with the installation process so the first thing that we need to install is the virtual box so i'll just open the folder in which i have downloaded the virtual box you can open the folder in which you have downloaded your virtual box and then just right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right now we just have to click on next all right on this page also we don't have to change anything so just click on next uh, it's a warning that says that while the installation of Oracle VirtualBox is in progress, it's going to reset your network connection and temporarily disconnect you from the network. So if you are downloading something from the internet, then you may want to pause or hold or stop the installation till your download is complete. After that, you can return back to the installation and then click on yes. All right. Then missing dependencies, Python core. Here also we don't have to do anything. So I'll just click on next and then finally just click on install. Then it will be installed on the computer. All right. Just click on finish. And now once the installation of VirtualBox is over, the VirtualBox manager is going to open up. And in the manager on the left side, you can see we have the virtual machines that I have created earlier. So all the virtual machines that you are going to create will be shown on the left side. You can see I have the virtual machine for Windows 11 for Ubuntu and then I have a clone for Ubuntu. And then we have various options here. New button is to add a new virtual machine. Add is used to just add a pre-existing or a copied or a moved virtual machine. Then settings is self-explanatory and then start is to start the virtual machine. And now since we are going to create a new virtual machine for Linux Mint, I'll just click on new. Now we have to give a name to our virtual machine. So I'll just type mint and you can observe as soon as I typed mint, the type has been selected as Linux and the version has been selected as Ubuntu 64 bit because just as I have told you earlier, Linux Mint is also a Debian based operating system. So it's also based on Ubuntu. So the version is Ubuntu here. Now, if you want to change the location where to keep this virtual machine, you can click on this arrow on the folder option and then click on other. And then you can browse to the location where you want to save your virtual machine. All right, then ISO image under the ISO image, we have to select the ISO image of the Linux Mint that we have downloaded. So just click on this arrow and then click on other 
and then you have to browse to the location where you have your Linux Mint. All right, then just click on open. Now the next thing is to click on this skip unattended installation. All right, and if you click on unattended install, all the options are inactive now. Then click on hardware. Now from here we have to allocate or assign RAM to our virtual machine. This is the place where you define how much of the RAM from your host computer you are willing to share with your virtual machine. So 2 GB is a good amount of RAM for Linux Mint since it is very light on the hardware. But I will suggest you to keep it at least 4 GB. I'm going to allocate 6 GB even though even though I'm going to allocate 6 GB but at least keep it till 4 GB and then we have to allocate the number of CPU. If you can allocate two CPU processor to your Linux Mint, it's good, but don't keep it less than two. I'm going to keep it to four CPUs since I have 12 CPU available on my host computer. So in the same way, if you have a lot of CPU and RAM available on your host computer, then you can increase these resources that you are sharing with your virtual machine because eventually it's going to give you a better performance on your virtual machine. All right, then click on hardware and here we are creating a new virtual hard disk. So this is going to be the location of the virtual machine, which we have selected in the first option. And then from here, you can choose how much of hard disk space you are willing to allocate to your virtual machine. Keep it at least till 40 GB if you have space on your hard disk. And if you have plenty of space available on your hard disk, you can keep it above 80 GB. And then the hard disk type has to be VDI. Now this depends upon the software with which you are going to use your virtual machines. Depending on that, you can choose the type of hard disk. But for now, we can just let it be on VDI. Then click on finish. And you can see Mint Virtual Machine has been created. Now click on Mint and then click on Settings. Now on the System tab, we can just untick this floppy. It's not required in the boot order anymore. And then in the video memory, we can increase the video memory to the maximum that is 128 MB. All right. If you click on storage, you can see the ISO file is already mounted. So we don't have to do anything here. And this is the SATA hard disk, the virtual hard disk. So we can just click on OK. And now we are finally ready to initialize our virtual machine. So click on start. Then this will be the first message that you will get. So from here, we just have to hit enter or select start linux mint 21 cinnamon 64 bit and then the mint is going to boot up and now this is a live version of linux mint if you just want to explore linux mint before installing it you can do that from here you can click on home and you can see all the libraries available or you can click on the start menu and you can see the applications. All right. Then finally, we can click on install Linux Mint. Now this is going to start or initialize the setup file. Then this will be the first window where we have to select the language. So I'll just let it be on English. And then we have to select the keyboard layout. If you are willing to, you can change your keyboard layout, but I will just let it be on English US. All right, then click on continue. Then from here, if you want the multimedia codecs to be installed alongside your operating system installation, then you can tick mark this option, install multimedia codecs, then click on continue. Then we have this option erase disk and install linux mint now a lot of users get confused with this option they think the installation is going to erase the disk on their host computer but it's not like that you might remember that we have created a virtual disk for our linux mint so this option is going to erase that virtual disk and it's not going to change anything on the host computer so we can just click on install now or if you want to create multiple partitions on your computer 
on your guest computer not the host computer you can do that from here you can click on something else and then you will get the option to create multiple partitions and then you will choose on which partition you want to install your linux mint but to keep the installation simple i'll just choose erase disk and install linux mint it's going to create only one partition and then click on install now all right now we have to select the time zone in which we are so depending on the time zone in which you are you can choose the time zone of that country since i'm in india so i'll just click on india and we have only one time zone in india so it doesn't matter where i click then just continue so on this window we have to type our username and based on that your computer name will be created but obviously you have the option to change it and then choose a password and then finally just click on continue then the installation of linux mint will begin the installation will take around 10 to 15 minutes it's not very time consuming now once the installation is over you will get this message that says installation has finished you can continue testing linux mint now but until you restart the computer any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved because as i have explained earlier it's just a live version of the linux mint which is running in the background so we can just click on restart now and then please remove the installation medium then press enter here we can just press enter we don't have to type anything here it will go on its own and then finally we will be brought to this login page where you have to enter your password and login into your account all right then the linux is going to boot up for you now this is the first window that you will get that's a welcome window it says these are the first steps that you need to do or you should do or you can do if you want to so from here if you want to change you can change the desktop colors you can see if i click on different colors the color of the folder and all are changing then if you prefer the night mode then you can click here then we have two type of panel layout the first one is the traditional that we used to have earlier but second one is the modern which kind of combines or groups the windows together and it's the default layout anyways then system snapshots you have the option to create snapshots so that if something breaks in on your computer you can restore your computer to the previous working snapshots so you can do that if you want then we have driver manager so you can check if there are other additional drivers available for your computer so you can click on launch and just check it then we have update manager in the same way if you want you can check for updates and then install them but let's not do that now then after that we have system settings if you want to have a look at the settings of your operating system you can click on it or if you want to download softwares then you can click on software manager there are about 60,000 applications available so you can download the softwares that you might need for your operating system and as you can see we have the softwares like audacity gparted and if you click on programming then the softwares which are required for programming they will be displayed so that's totally up to you and then finally the installation is over now you can go ahead and start using your linux mint virtual machine in any way that you want so i hope you were able to install the linux mint operating system on your virtual box and if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.